Lucky Den. Caitlin? Daughter Caitlin. <laughs> son Cody. How you doing? What can I do for you? We're looking for a 57 T-Bird. Um, my wife was a big fan and she just passed away and so we um, we want to kind of honor her with uh, getting a 57 T-Bird and I really want to get it kind of redone over a little bit, make it uh, make it really, really special. I got a red 57 T-Bird that's quite nice. It's not really what I'd call a project car, I'd call it a nice car. I think it's a $40,000, $42,000 car. Oh boy, here we go. Ooh, sweet. It's a very original car, not a corroded car, it's not a rusty car. It's what I call driver quality. It's not a car that I would restore, it's a car I would drive. We have some big plans for this baby right here. We want to make it special. Uh, it's 42,000. Bucky being one of my heroes, I'll probably give him a little break. He's Bucky Dent. I like the car, I think it's a beauty. I mean, it's exactly what we're looking for. I think it's something that uh, we can work with. I, I really like the car. I don't know if I really want to go that I high. I think let's try to shoot for 25. Let's push him for that. Sentiment of the story, I think he'll work with us. Yeah. I think it's a good base for where we want to start. Let's get serious about this. I would like to sell you the car, so. Come on, come on, come on now. Like 40? Whoa. 40. Right on the head? It's still Whoa. a little high. It's still high. I personally was thinking 25. How about 35? Well, that's a $10,000 pop. Yeah. This is an expensive child. Yeah. I told we had wiggle room. <laughs> Not that much, but quite right now. Yeah, that was 38 grand, I'll sell you the car. Uh, I'm done. What do you think? What do you think? I think so. uh, God, I gotta... Because you're a Yankee fan, I'm gonna give you a hug. Thank oh. you. Aw. <laughs> Thanks, man. Which I turned red. Love Thank it. you. <laughs> I did it. I sold Bucky Dent a car. I'm thrilled. Cody didn't say much, but I could read Cody that he was very emotionally involved in the deal. You could see it in his eyes. 57 T-Bird all done. Whew. I mean, uh, be, I think we did good. I think, I think so we did good. Mom I'm, would be proud. The T-Birds arrived to the facility. Our visitors today are the Dent family. They're going to come in and tell us what their ideas are with the car, kind of where their vision is and where they see it going. I know the car's red, but her favorite color was black and white. Black and white. She always okay. wore black and white. She's very classy. I think white leather. The whole car is about, is is really about her, her elegance, about remembering her, about having her with us when we drive the car. I got a father that called me up. He bought a hot rod Mustang for his daughter. The Mustang has a built 351. It's a race engine. This is not for a kid to drive. Theo just got her license. It's time for her to get her first car. I have the 69 Mustang and it's just got way too much power. As a dad, I'm concerned that she might get hurt. This is a real live race car. It's a former race car. It has been uh, tamed down to be street legal. <laughs> Some aspects of it, but uh, the engine has not. So it's a built 351. It's actually a 408 because it's been stroked. This is not a car she should drive for five minutes. Look at the wheels. Those are the original Mustang spinners. That's a lot classier than the one that we have. I'm a little worried. You love it, right? I adore it. It's definitely classier. I'd like to go key for key with Ted, but I know he's going to come with me and ask for some money on the side, so we'll just have to see how it pans out. I don't think I got to convince Theo at all. She loves it. Ian is tougher and he's a car guy. and knows what he's looking at, but he also knows that that's the right car for his kid. I might just throw keys with him, even swap. At the end of the day, we're both on the same team. You're gonna give me your car, and you know, just to be fair with you, just a couple of grand. The thing is, the car that I brought in, that's got a serious motor in it. Somebody spent a lot of money on that car. I don't care. It's ugly, it needs to be worked on. This is not ugly, it doesn't need to be worked on. Yours is an eight, mine is a six. But mine still is a lot nicer than yours. So pay me two grand and let's be done. But Ted, the car's got flames. Come on, let's just throw keys. You know you want to. The only reason I would even do this deal is if you would promise me to be careful and stay safe in this car. And you don't want to give me any money, you want to throw keys. All right, I'm a parent too. You own it. Let's go do it. Thank you, Do Ted. the paperwork, we can take it home. So we did the deal. It's key for key, car for car, just like I wanted. I'm very excited that there's no more flames on the Mustang. And the color is way more important than the engine for me. I think Ted and I will do some more deals in the future. I love cars. He's got a great collection here. I'll be back. This guy, Scott, saw a pickup truck I had on my website, and he's got a couple of tricked out Harleys, and he said he'd trade me the bikes for the pickup truck. And since I'm in the Chicago area, where he's from, I said, let's get together. And I'm gonna look at the bikes and see if we can't make a deal. I looked online, saw that he had a 57 Chevy pickup truck for $8,500. With the way my pricing is on these two bikes, it should be about an even deal or a little more on mine to give to him. We'll go from there. There you go. 
This is the pink one. The pink bike is a special homemade bike that I put together in honor of my wife's passing. She died from pancreatic cancer, and I finished it before she died. It's been used in parades, fundraisers for breast cancer, but uh, it's time for me to let go, and it's time for the deal to be done. <laughs> the gas tanks are boobs. Yep, I ordered those. It took um, almost <laughs> a year to get. Good when it's nippy weather. Yeah. I like it. What year is this? The uh, motor's a 1999, it's titled as a 2011. Is it a Harley number, H1 HD number? That's no, the important it's thing. A, it's a home-built number. It's, it's a Wisconsin title, it's a regular title. I export most of my vehicles. If a bike has a real Harley number, which is a 1 HD number, any country will take it. When it's got a Mickey Mouse homemade or any other number besides 1 HD, it becomes real confusing for the buyers. That is a problem for me. That hurts me, but it is what it is. This is a 1 HD number. Correct, that's a 1982 shovel head. I picked that up uh, two years ago. A friend of mine, her husband died from bone cancer and I was gonna make that into another cancer bike. I just don't have the time and energy to do it. I am decided I'm trying to get out of the motorcycle business. Well, it's a pretty bike. Ted, I was thinking about trading you that and this, even up for the truck. I'm gonna be delivering them down to you. You don't have to pay for any shipping. I'll take the truck and bring it home, Ugh. straight up. To ship two bikes from Chicago is probably 300 a bike. So he's saving me 600, maybe $700. That's all well and good. But I have a pickup truck. Pickup trucks are gold, they sell well. If I'm gonna take those two bikes, I need some boot. I like to get a couple of grand. I'd probably settle on one, but I'm not doing it straight up. In the market that it is right now, the 82 is probably worth 3,500 to $4,000. And then the pink bike is probably worth anywhere to five to $6,000. That's a pretty good even swap for me and a deal for Ted. If he'll come my way a little bit, it'll be a deal. If he won't come my way, I'm not doing the deal. How I feel the deal is fair is like two grand would work for me. I make some money, I'm good to go. And the reason I won't do it even is because when I sell both of these bikes, they're gonna bring the same amount of money as my truck would bring. And I can sell a truck better than a bike, but because you've, you know, you're a good cat, we met, the bikes are everything you said they are, I'll do it for 1,500 bucks. That's as far as I'm going. Uh, I don't know, Ted, that's pretty steep. What about a 1,000 and a handshake and we'll call it a day? I'm good, All right. 1,000 bucks. Cool. Deal's done. I think each one of those bikes will do five to 12 grand a piece. And uh, I'm gonna have 1,500 in the pair, so I think I'll be okay. I'm looking forward actually to going to Florida to, to deliver the bikes. Um, there's friends and family that I like to see on the way down and I can make a trip out of it. Come on brother, deal's done. Sounds good. How about if I buy you lunch at the pub? Sounds good and I'll buy you a beer, maybe one more after that too. Okay, but we're not riding bikes then. <laughs>